Hey everyone, let's have a quick chat about Starflight by Melissa Landers, which is a fun space adventure. Starflight is set in a future where humankind expanded and terraformed planets outside of Earth because we just got too many. We still haven't found alien life, but that's not part of the story. The story centers more about Solara, an orphan girl who can't find a job after school as a mechanic on Earth, so she wants to go to the outer rim where she hopes to find good work and no one will care that she's not the most beautiful girl in the world. As an orphan, of course, she doesn't really have money to space travel that far, so she indentures herself as a servant to Doran, who used to pick on her at school. And you can already tell, there is a romance devolving and it's very predictable, but I don't really care. So those two set out traveling together and for reasons I don't really want to get into, they have to leave the cruise ship and end up on a small spacecraft with a small crew of rogue people and from there on the adventure takes off. And I have to say I really enjoyed the story. We follow those two characters through their adventures with their crew and all the things they have to go through and master to reach the end of the book. Let's say it like that. Like I already mentioned, the love story is rather predictable, you know what's going to happen. But I don't really mind that because the love story often is very predictable and if it's well done it doesn't really matter. And in this book I think it's very well done how you get to know the two characters and how you see them fall in love. I really enjoyed that. I also think that a lot of the other things are very predictable, that the twists and turns were no twists and turns. But the story itself, where it went and what happened, I didn't read the back, of course, which I recommend you don't do either because it's rather summarizing the whole book. But that way I didn't really know what to expect and it was a lot more fun because I just found everything so exciting and things were just told in a way that you really enjoyed it. Also I like the way the story was told. In the beginning we get the point of view from Solara and it's third person narration but we get it from her point of view so we always get her side, her ideas, her thoughts and then all of a sudden we switch to Doran and I really enjoyed that because that way you get both sides of the story, you get to learn more about the characters and you see more about the story and the world. And I think it was very well done in this case, it wasn't made a big deal, it was just like Whoop, now we're talking from his point of view and I enjoyed that immensely. The same for the rest of the crew. We get to know them through the eyes of the others and also through the different eyes they have on them. And it is a lot of fun how they are described, how they are interacting and it just gives you a fun feel. If you like space stories and you like space adventures then you're going to like this book. It's not high science fiction, it's fun science fiction, the kind I like most. Also it is a little bit tropey, like I mentioned before. She's like the not so beautiful girl and he's a rich dude and they fall in love. But what I liked is how the tropes are used and how they are not good, used in the bad way. What I mean by that is we all know this, she's not beautiful but then she puts on a beautiful dress and puts on makeup and the rich guy thinks like oh she's so nice I never noticed and this doesn't happen here. I really really like that because it would have ruined a lot of the characters. This book can be read as a standalone but we can also have more adventures with the same crew so looking forward to what's going to happen there. Also one last thing, space pirates. Always a good reason to read a book. So let me know if you have read Starflight or if you've heard of it, if you want to read it and then let's talk about space adventure. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.